All right, Cindy. Got a, got a spike. We haven't been seeing hardly anything this year. This is only the fourth buck all season. It opened on the 10th. Today's the 17th. So, got to take what you can get, and well, he's, he'll be tasty. Yeah, you ought to be good eating at least. Still feel kind of guilty shooting the spike, though. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, I guess. Well, congrats, honey. I guess. <laughs> kind of weird looking spike. Well, it's doing a little, his horns are pointed in. Yeah. Oh. One down. Yeah. He <laughs> should have started running when he saw us. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's not, he's not the biggest deer in the world, but he'll be tasty. Congrats, my dear. Thank you. Well, being it's starting to get nasty, we should get him gutted and get him loaded. I think so. This is what we're up against. The snow isn't more than a few inches deep, but underneath is ice. We came clear over to here with the front wheels down that slope. It's, this road slopes off the wrong direction. Kind of thought we could make it. Things were looking good till we got up to here. Well, it's getting dark. And we're digging, and hopefully we'll get off the mountain. But at least we got a deer, huh, Cindy? Yeah, we won't starve. We and won't starve. And we won't have to eat Cora. Yeah, Cora's our dog. We keep saying that if we get broke down, we'll eat her. <laughs> but she's the skinny one. Yeah, yeah, she's skinny. You keep the fat ones for later because they last longer. <laughs> but, Anyway, this isn't fun. We gotta get off this mountain. Well, we made it off the hill alive. <laughs> yes, we did, didn't we? It's hard to tell just how steep that is and off that drop off. And every year, somebody falls off of that hill right in that spot, and we know it, but we do it anyway. We're I guess too stupid to learn. <laughs> no, I said we're adventurous. Adventurous? Adventurous. <laughs> That's the same word as stupid, right? <laughs> well, we made it home with the deer and the dog, so what can we say? Yeah. Yeah. I'll leave this guy hang for a couple of days, see if we can't find another one. And the good thing about these is they'll fill the freezer and they're a lot tenderer than the big world record ones and <laughs> world record ones are world records because there ain't very many of them too yeah. well just got back home got Cindy's deer hung up police and an ambulance and search and rescue and a bunch of others ran up the hill here looks like somebody rolled off the mountain Hopefully they're not dead. That's really steep right there. So, anyway, in the morning, I guess I'll run up and see what I can see. Glad it wasn't us. October 18th, the day after Cindy got her deer. As you can see, it's a lovely day. The snow is coming down. A uh, half hour ago, there was no snow here. It's really, really a pretty good storm. Uh, last night, somebody drove off the mountain. And I come up here to take a look. And the car is right down here. I don't know. That doesn't look too good. I don't know if they could have survived that or not. Let's see, where are we at? Right there. It's hard to see in the snow. Upside down, I can't tell if it's a pickup or a car. We almost went off the road yesterday. Come really close. I mean, we were inches from the edge. This road, <laughs> it's steep, it's icy. There's been a, a lot of people killed on this road. 
Oh yeah, okay, I see what happened. That's a firewood cutter. Yeah, that don't look too good. Here's the police line. Sheriff's, sheriff's line, do not cross, it says. Got a bunch of fence posts. There's his wood rack. That's a pickup truck. I probably know the guy. Let's see, where's that? Oh God, it's hard to see. Okay, right there. Man, I hope they lived. It doesn't look too likely. That's upside down. That's a long ways off the hill. And like I said, it is steep. This is a dangerous road. This is the same road that I usually come up to do my trapping, uh, hunting. Our bear bait is in a steeper spot than this. So we kind of had to give up on that. Now, not a not a good deal. Yesterday when we come up here there was no snow at all. Cindy's deer was about a hundred feet or so off of the hill, up the hill, and it rolled right down into the road. It couldn't have been better. That I'm still looking for mine. Let's see, here's another spot I can see that. Let's see where he at. Hard to see with the snow coming down the way it is. I brought a roadkill deer up a couple of, oh, I don't know, two or three weeks ago probably, and left it up here, and it's gone. So I brought another one up yesterday and put a trail camera on it. Now I'm a little worried to get my camera back. Now, if this keeps up, I might have to leave it there till spring. Well, that's life in the Idaho mountains. Hopefully it's not death in the Idaho mountains. Well, now it's quit snowing, you can see this a little bit better. The fence rails where the guy went off, let's see, where are they at? Right there. And the truck is clear down here. Right there. That doesn't look too good. Well, I hope they survived. Icy roads, folks. Be careful this fall. As you can see, the snow level is not really high on the hill. So there is some, uh, some bare ground down below. You get up high where the deer and the elk are, though, and the bears, and it's pretty deep. Cindy got her deer down below the snow line, and we got, just got more this morning. The elk are up higher. It's going to be tough to get any.